Elon Musk is the name that is getting more and more synonymous with the words technology and revolution. This tech titan has been revolutionizing several sectors as his companies keep introducing some mind-blowing new things. Space exploration sector is already becoming another Elon-dominated place with his company, SpaceX, which is valued at over $100 billion. And this billionaire seems to bolster his company's position in the game a bit more by revealing a whole new rocket engine. NASA, the leading name in the space industry, has joined hands with SpaceX to make this engine, named the Lightspeed Engine, which apparently defies the laws of physics. Taking on the challenge When it comes to space, there's a problem with our human drive to go all the places and see all the things. The thing is, space is big, really big. Even traveling at the maximum speed the universe allows, it would take us years to reach our nearest neighboring star. Even Mars, which Elon Musk wants to colonize, would require space travel of at least five months. Five months is a lot of time in space if you give it a thought. Spending that much amount of time in space can prove a bit dangerous for the astronauts who are going to colonize Mars according to Elon's plans. It can have adverse effects on the Mars colonizer's health and mind due to the long time as well as the radiation in space. On top of that, Elon Musk has a greater plan of transporting a million people on the Red Planet by 2050, and less than 30 years are left to conceptualize that plan of his. To put things on a pedestal, Elon needs a technology that will give his plan a boost, as he first needs to get all the things needed to create the colony on the surface of Mars. So, Elon has been looking for a solution for all of that, and NASA came up with the exact thing Elon was looking for, a revolutionary rocket engine that drags the whole trip time down to less than 30 minutes. An engine that promises future. There's an idea for a motor that can accelerate to 99% of the speed of light without using any fuel. That might sound like a sci-fi movie, yet it's not. One of NASA's inventions almost acts similarly and it could possibly oppose physics. David Burns is the one who came up with the idea of the design of this amazing rocket engine, and he called it the helical engine on paper. Understandably, this paper has caused a buzz, and NASA ended up working out this new engine with none other than the person who was searching for something like this, Elon Musk. Well, this isn't the first time NASA and Elon Musk joined hands. Elon's company, SpaceX, has been transporting crews and materials to the International Space Station for quite some time now. No fuel is needed. The most mind-blowing feature of this new rocket engine is that it won't be using any traditional organic fuel. Sounds pretty impossible, right? Currently, most commercial and military rockets use chemical fuels, which have to be pre-made on Earth and then loaded into rocket boosters prior to launch. Not only is this expensive and extremely complex, but it also limits how much weight can be lifted off of Earth's surface. So, can you guess where the new engines get its juice from? Here's a clue for you. Elon Musk's cars are powered by it. Yes, you guessed it right. Electricity. It might sound crazy at first, but when you consider that 95% of everything you do in life involves using electricity at some point, it doesn't seem so far-fetched anymore. This new engine works by exploiting the way mass can change at relativistic speeds, those close to the speed of light in a vacuum. The idea of fuelless rocket engines isn't a new concept, actually. In the late 1970s, a U.S. inventor named Robert Cook patented an engine that converted centrifugal force into linear motion. In the early 2000s, a British inventor named Roger Sawyer proposed an M-drive engine idea, claiming to convert trapped microwaves into thrust. The M-drive in particular was dubbed the impossible engine because it is essentially a container with microwaves bouncing around inside it, supposedly moving due to these bouncy microwaves. Featuring some numbers When it comes to speed, the greatest speed known to mankind is the speed of light which is 186,000 miles per second. What is known is that there's no way the light of speed can be achieved. Well, that's what science says, but this engine can be challenging that fact of physics. 
The engine itself would be able to get to 99% the speed of light if you had enough time and power, according to Burns. With that astonishing speed, Burns mentioned this engine can simply finish a trip to the moon, which is 240,000 miles, in only 1.3 seconds. When it comes to Elon Musk's targeted planet Mars, with the help of this new engine, his latest rocket starship will be able to make the trip within 12.5 minutes. It seems pretty impossible, right? Before the new lightspeed engine was revealed, Elon was hinting to the world in a way about an engine that can take the world to Mars within the shortest possible time. While well, he went with a more realistic number of fewer than 70 days. Not without doubt. This new engine sounds really great and is showing a lot of potential for sure. But that doesn't mean it's a sure shot thing. Some have claimed that the very foundation of this new engine may be violating the law of physics. In contrast, others argue that the engine concept is excellent, but only on paper. The helical chamber would have to be pretty large. To generate any significant thrust in the helical engine, a megastructure the size of a skyscraper is needed. And it would need to generate 165 megawatts of energy to produce one newton of thrust. That's the equivalent of a power station producing the force required to accelerate a kilogram of mass per second squared. So a lot of input for a teeny tiny output. It's horribly inefficient. However, David Burns, a NASA engineer who has been working on this problem in his own time, claims that it might actually work in vacuum space. Burns notes the efficiency problem in his presentation and said that what we have to do is a piece of groundwork that could be used to develop such an engine. What we have is a dream of the stars. Testing is going on. In September, Musk and a team of scientists at NASA announced their design for a revolutionary rocket they called the Raptor. It can withstand more than 500,000 pounds of thrust and run on liquid methane rather than traditional kerosene, meaning it would produce 30% less carbon dioxide emissions thanks to the use of liquid methane a clean and environmentally friendly fuel. According to the latest advancement of this new engine, this engine, which runs on electricity, is being installed on the revolutionary rocket named Raptor. Before it enters outer space, tests will be conducted on Earth, and engineers estimated that the short flight, sort of up and down flights, would be probable in the first half of next year. That's all for now. I hope you've learned all about the new physics-defying rocket engine by Elon Musk and NASA. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on notifications so you're up to date on the channel's updates. See you in the next video.